Once upon a time, there was a brilliant book called G.I. Joe. <laughs> now, this is a superb collection from the, uh, actually, G.I. Joe 40th. Yes, I, I know there was a book originally, and the book I've still got, um, I took it out. Yes, I'd got rid of all that plastic and boxing, which to be just no, no good. Yes, some of you might think, oh, no, I'll keep it all original, but no. I think it looks far better like this. <clears throat> As you see, I've got um, three remakes of the original Jajor 1960s, well, 60s classics. I've got the pilot, I've got the uh, marine and the action soldier, which these are all obviously the anniversary editions. I've got another two in the cabinet, um, one's the, um, which is my favourite, which is the, um, the, the US Navy. Um, and I've also got uh, another marine as well. Um, quality, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I absolutely love this. You know, it's like a feel of a book, like, and it's also a great storage for these um, other boxes as well. Um, it's a bit tricky opening up, but let's have a look at the um, the soldier. So the box is a it's a little bit fiddly with um, just one hand and holding the camera. Uh, you get your instructions, obviously. Uh, if you can see that the light's a bit bad there, there Marie. Oh, so, that's sorry, I got that mixed up. It doesn't matter anyway, but that's what you get. And you also usually get. I've got another one here for another one of your reins, and you get things like um, the um, stripes and things like that, and another little. little um, but overall, um, the figure is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's actually this one's the blonde-haired painted one, and. Uh, Details and the, and the uniform. Of course, you get it um, comes with his. You get the weapon as well. Do you know? I forgot the name of this bloody thing. I'm getting totally useless. Old age, I think. Um, it'll come to me. And of course, you get the um, a lovely. It's good, nice feel to it. Nice, good quality hat cap. Right, put that aside. Now we come to the marine. Now I've got another one of these, exactly the same, except he's blonde haired. Um, when he came, he, um, he didn't have a hat, well, all he has with this one, it's just a simple cloth cap, which is alright, I suppose, but I'm not too keen on it, like. Um, of course, you get the um, weapon again, and uh, again, overall, I know it's very difficult to see this type, but I can assure you the quality is really good. And these figures, I mean, they really are fantastic, I mean, they're well made, I think, they're really lovely. And of course, you get your instructions. Uh, moving on now to the G.I. Joe pilot. I actually love the pilot. I believe these were the very... Oh, they're going to have shell shock here. Hang on. Uh, sorry for that. Um, this is the pilot. And I absolutely love the pilot. Of course, you get your instructions as usual. Black pair of boots. Um, the hat. Standard blue hat. Which is again is pretty good quality, pretty lovely. And of course, uh, yeah, I've got the uh, the dog tag, you know. And um, it's I know the sunlight's cause a problem, but I'm not going to complain because I don't get much sun in England. But they are absolutely fantastic figures, really nice, you know. But I'll show you the two later on, bro. Just because I need to upload this video for now. But uh, if any of you has got the same ones, you know, please do show them. Let's have a look, you know, do a video, you know, and. Um, some of you is a bit shy, but please do a bit of narration. You know, it's nice. We'd like to hear people talking about the hobby. You know, but uh, I know certain people in my group, friends of mine, that um, I'm not going to mention names, like, but they don't like talking. They've got fantastic collections. But anyway, thanks very much for viewing.